course, you're the, the first female director from Saudi Arabia. And I was just wondering, uh, how much of a struggle was it to, to make Wajjo? Was there any, how many obstacles did you have to overcome to get here? Oh, so long. Like, it took me five years to make the film. And um, writing was difficult because I come from an oral culture. That is, um, we say we have a lot of poetry, but we don't have storytelling and structured storytelling. And um, I did my master in film. I wrote the first draft as part of that, um, of that, of my master degree, but the, um, but was really bad. <laughs> so I had had to go through a lot of revisions. And um, I was very grateful for a lot of places where I submitted the film and got support, like Sundance Writers Lab. That was very, it's a great experience. And after I had them, and they put like a good word for me when I was trying to find producers. And that is how Razor, um, uh, Razor Film came, came on board on the film. But we found a lot of money coming, from, we had producers and, and we had, uh, found a lot of money coming from Europe. But in the Middle East, it was very hard to convince people to come on board because the film was too subtle. Nothing is happening, no melodramatic, <laughs> melodramatic things. <laughs> like, and the, subtle doesn't sell in the Middle East. <laughs> they want more drama, you know? So, yeah, it took a while to get, to, to get financing and I was very grateful for Rotana Studios to come and pack us up and to Saudi production company. And then we started um, making the film. And then we got into production and production is a different story. <laughs> Yeah, well, I was just going to say, because I mean, did, did you feel kind of a greater responsibility on your shoulders knowing that you are sort of, sort of creating history with, with this film? Uh, I, I wasn't thinking that way, that as I'm creating history or great responsibility, because I was trying to just to make a film. It's like an artist who's trying to convince the producers and try to find money as much as like, until a story that... Um, that is honest. I try to get to get engaged more in the story and put a lot of my my feelings into it and make sure that it is how I do my best to to tell the, to have the story come across. But I wasn't feeling that um, like a soldier. Let's go. <laughs> wasn't I wasn't feeling that way. And I think it's very important not to get um, distracted as an artist by all the what is happening. It's very important to be. To, to concentrate on the story and just to try to tell something that meaningful to you before anybody else. It's very important to have that, um, that intimacy with the book, the, 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 the script that you're writing. But are you hoping that this might inspire sort of other female film, uh, sort of aspiring directors to come out and have the confidence to make, to make cinema now? Of course, I would love to see um, filmmakers, women and men in Saudi. I think it's such an exciting place. It is a moving society, it's changing. There's so much happening. And, um, and it's worth documenting, it's worth telling what is happening in there. And I'm sure we will see a lot of filmmakers coming from Saudi Arabia with exciting stories. But what has the, the general reaction been like in, in Saudi? Because I imagine it would have been quite mixed. Exactly, it was mixed. A lot of people, of course, it's a conservative place. So a lot of people are against women making films and voicing their opinion and all that. But in, uh, younger kids like, um, identify with the story a lot. And they're happy to see film about coming from Saudi. There is a huge sense of ownership. And um, we showed a film in, uh, in Saudi. And a, a young man came to me and told me, I have now how I feel how Americans feel when they see an American movie. And, and for me, it was emotional because uh, it is, I wanted to bring a, a very authentic slice of life from Saudi and to, to participate in what is happening, opening the country up a little and creating this atmosphere of tolerance, of uh, celebrating art where things and change can be possible and can happen. I mean, you, you are raising questions of, of, kind of, of culture and tradition, but you're doing it on quite on sort of smaller scale about a girl wanting just to ride a bike. Can you sort of tell us about the, the decision to be quite subtle about that approach? Yeah, of course. I wanted to have a child and tell a story. In Sa Saudi still, you don't have, as an artist, you have a very limited place, um, space to work with. And for me, I don't want to complain about the limiting, the limited space as much as capitalize on it and bring the much, as much as I can from that play, from within that, within those boundaries. And for me, uh, a child and a bicycle, a bicycle is a toy, it's not intimidating. It has all what I wanted to say about acceleration, about mm, being on top of one's destiny and mobility, freedom of mobility and all that, but still it's a toy. It's not, it's not um, so like, and you're, and I don't know, it's like, a, it's not very, uh, I don't know how to say it, it's, and, and it's soft. And then the girl is, you can say a lot on, from a child's perspective. And uh, the, because of their curiosity and there's so much you can, 
you can tap on without really um, being offensive to, uh, to the culture. And also I wanted to film the streets of Riyadh. And for me, if I had an adult, a woman, it would be, I would be very limited inside the house. And I wanted to open the streets. I wanted kids who, the, a young girl has more mobility to go out and roam the streets, to run, and, and all that excitement of seeing the outside um, scenes of, yeah, so that is why, another reason why I, I was writing from a child perspective. And also, because by, by going through a child perspective, it's, it, we see this world, uh, this whole kind of culture from very innocent eyes and sort of quite mm. naive eyes. And do you think that helps with the worldwide audience uh, sort of seeing this story? Because we don't know too much about it necessarily, so it helps us kind of see it from her perspective as well. Absolutely. And also, I don't want to be um, um, judgmental. I wanted to bring life and then people make things out of it. And it is very important just to bring things into the surface and have people find things in it and just like people come up to their own conclusions other than my, me pointing them to a certain direction. And do you see much of yourself in the character of Wadja? A little. <laughs> well, I, when I was little, I was, I used to wear jeans and uh, Chuck Taylors underneath my, my, um, my uniform and I used to sell bracelets, but I was very shy. I, was, I didn't have direct interaction with the world like she did, like on, on, that, um, on that sense. But uh, my, I based her a lot, the character, I based her a lot on my niece who had a great sense of humor and she was really amazing girl. She would never take no for an answer and she's outside always like trying to sell something or trying to do, <laughs> or trying to like uh, scheme something and it was amazing but she confirmed like now she's very conservative because my brother is conservative and I felt it's a great loss and it's um, I wanted to empower to make a film that is inspiring and empowering for for women in Saudi to embrace their potential and be true to who they are and never give up whatever they want to do in life because that is how the society want them to be because when you were growing up I mean but what was it that inspired you to become a filmmaker? Because I can't imagine there would have been many young girls with similar aspirations at, at a young age. I, I never thought I would be a filmmaker as a young person, like when I was a, a child. But I watched a lot of films when I was a, a little. Like, I, 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 am, I come from a very big family. I have lots of siblings and I'm one of 12. And my father used to bring a lot of videos for us to keep us calm while, while he reads the newspaper. <laughs> So I watched a lot of films and I come from a small town so there wasn't any entertainment, you know, it's a remote place and nothing is happening. So we watched the world literally through film. And, uh, and then I, um, I, uh, when, I be, I, I, when I started working, um, I finished college and I started working back in Saudi and I felt so invisible as a woman and uh, nothing is personally against me but that is how the culture is. And such a low point in my life, it's trying to assert myself in the workplace and all that. And then I decided to make a film because it was a happy moment in my life. And um, I made a short and I sent it to, as just a hobby, and I sent it to a, a local competition in Abu Dhabi and got accepted. And it was like, official competition. I was like, what? <laughs> and then I, they sent me like a ticket to accompany the film. And that was amazing. So I was just like, I went there really happy and proud of myself. And when they saw me, they told me like, you are the first female filmmaker. And I was like, yeah, right. <laughs> But it is really, um, I carry that, uh, the title with a lot of pride, but it is, I think uh, the most important thing is to make something because you, you want, there is some kind of a personal satisfaction and for me it gave me a, vo a voice, I felt. So can you see yourself returning to Saudi to make a second film anytime soon? Oh yeah, definitely. Saudi is such an exciting place, so much is happening and there are so many layers in, in the society and um, it's, a, it's a rich place to tell stories when you have so many contradictions. Now, my final question, I just want to say congratulations on uh, the Venice jury, being the head of the Venice jury for debut films. Must, yes. how, how did that come about? It's really cool. I, I'm, I'm really grateful for Venice for giving me the, for launching Wajda and uh, for giving me this amazing opportunities. I'm really excited and I can't wait to be there. It's quite an honor and uh, I really look forward to watching. I'm sure they are picking up really amazing, amazing uh, films and uh, it will be a difficult thing to choose the winner, so. <laughs> but I'm really, it's quite an honor. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Well, thank, thank you. you so much.